I fell in love with your eyes. I fell in love with your sweet face. Your eyes, your lips, your nose. Woo 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 woo. A music icon, a legend, and the definition of an accomplished artist, Moses Nachintije Sechibogo, who was popularly known as Mose Radio, could compose songs for himself and others, sing and perform. His life came to an abrupt end following a bar brewing in Tebe Wachiso district. Radio was 33 years old. Some eyewitnesses claim that a bounce of a pub known as Diba lifted the slim artist high and dropped him. He reportedly hit his back and head on the pavement. <laughs> News of radio's accident devastated relatives, friends and his fans. Tetwala bako mozenga alwadde nti ali kuchitanda. Mubanga lyo nalyo neri obuto. Neba akube simu mu kiro, imoza akubidwa tuli kuchitanda. Kati nagenda mu kubira kati engera ngana ne bilala bye mugamba ku mande ekiro sanga bili. Aine bilala bye mugamba te yangu ata. Sigala unga nize java mba wala bangi. Niba nkubile simu niba nga mamani. Mutabanyo uva muku. Nimba uza mutabanyo wange. Aa niku babili. Niba nga mba ntumoze siba muku vya na hituwe sabiri kukaba muku vide dala bovinyo. This day marks exactly one year since his death, but many pieces of radio's last hours in Entebbe have remained uncollected to give a correct account of what could have happened on the fateful day. We rewind Mose Radio's clock back before the fateful 8 p.m. on 23rd January 2018. His last appearance before the Barbara was in Busambaga in Tebi, where he was monitoring the construction of his residential house. There are reports that someone called him on phone while at the site and it said that person was Pamela Msimiri. She reportedly asked him to move to the Diba. When NTV contacted Musimire for a report, she was reluctant to speak, but after a lot of persuasion, she accepted. Musimire began by explaining how she became a close associate of Mose Radio. What was the issue? 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 She claims to have spoken to radio before and after his arrival at the construction site. As in his coming to Entebbe, but I get up to site first. Then the money is in Jakula, Jakula bed. Maybe after he called me. A source who was at Diba on the fateful day told NTV that when radio arrived, the DJ immediately played his songs. He was happy and ordered for a drink. According to the source, the bottle of black label the waiter delivered was not full, and in anger, the singer poured it. Masimere says she was in the ladies at the time of the incident. It is said some people, especially the barminders, were upset when radio poured the drink. There was a scuffle which left him injured. That time I went for a short call. Coming back, I found when they are quarreling, it's my how poor the our drinks, what? So someone pushed the table down. So there was like a noun pushing the table down. Next is both boxing each other. So I hold him, I took him outside. 
and it was almost getting into his car. That's when I had someone pulling him with my eye, my arms, my hands, and then turning like this, I found him down. I started screaming. He was rushed to Emmanuel Hospital near Katabi and Tebi in critical condition. I also met Freedom Abite Kaniza, the proprietor of Freedom Beach in Entebbe. He claims to have been Radio's close friend and the supervisor of his construction site. The day Radio visited the site, Abite Kaniza says he passed by but never found him. The next he had was a phone call breaking the news of his accident. <laughs> So after like it came like at 8:30 Pamela na damu na ankubira na ngamba mkwano goba mkubiye ali unconscious ali mu Emmanuel Hospital nimvuge moto kane ntukao bwana tukao na sanga doctor fidgetinga no mute kamu kanula no mute kamu mpiso bwana mkwata ko on the side of the of the head he was lying on the on his left ear when a quarter on him named about like not tears but some uh, greasy substance and then this guy needs proper uh, medical care his eye was grayish and uh, he was losing uh, some sub substance from the mouth at now 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 throwing up yafuna that big uh, like last breath eh? From Emmanuel Hospital, Radio was rushed to Nsambia Hospital, but for some reason, the doctors declined to admit him. He was then taken to Case Hospital in Kampala and put in the intensive care unit. However, there are reports that no family member or friend ever saw him again until he was pronounced dead a week later. There is a recording of a lady claiming to have been a nurse at Case Hospital which circulated widely on social media. She claimed that Redu was kept at the facility as though he was alive, although he had died earlier. Case Hospital released a statement then refuting the allegations saying that the lady was not their employee. We made an effort to speak to the hospital administration to explain the condition in which they received the singer. The public relations officer referred us to a one Dr. Patrick Kalika. He told us on phone that the Uganda Medical Council had advised the hospital not to comment on the matter anymore. It's the medical council that had, has advised the you. medical council then, advise, yes we cannot comment ntv was unable to establish whether the medical council was investigating any matter in relation to radio's death <laughs> Abite Kaniza said he later went to the debate to seek more information about what could have happened Nange kwe kubuza aba aba bananyi ni bala oyo hasani ne mugamba muina cameras yes ne ngamba is all right so tujja kufuna evidence on camera na ibo twali mu investigation na ila na na emphasizing ku camera edete fana ni camera ne batu gamba zali za ka installing wa tebaina uh, recording we also spoke to George Igesa, who earlier emerged as the owner of the bar, but he now had a different account. Uh, yes, I have just a small inquiry from you and uh, your place uh, the, called the bar. That is not my place. I rented it out long time. You rented it out? Radio was buried on 4th February 2018 at Kagai Nakauka, Wachiso district, where he was constructing a house for his mother, Jane Kasubo. Socialite Brian Chirumira, commonly known as Brian White, later completed the houseworks. Radio left behind 45 songs which had not yet been released. This song collection has caused a row between his family and a group of musicians who wanted to release some of the songs. 
However, the family gave out three of the songs, including Mpalavu by King Saha. Close family members claim that Saha's other song, Bidibidi, was also written by radio. Radio's music is popular on the airwaves as though he was still alive. His legacy lives on. Moses Nachintije Sechibogo, Mose Radio. Solomon Kawesa, NTV. Kuvare na zoko kukulava,